Hi, my name is Josh Ackman. I'm in the customer service department at Park Industries. Today we're going to talk about garnet overflow issues from your mini hopper. So we're going to start up here to point out what the issue would be on the mini hopper here. Today we're on a Sabre Jet XP. Uh, you might have a little bit different design if you have a Fusion or another sod jet, but the concept the same. We want to look, our issue we're pointing out is if this mini hopper is getting filled completely full that you have garnet coming out your overflow line. Um, you always want to have your garnet only about two thirds full on your mini hopper. If it is coming out, you can follow this line down on the Sabre Jet models. You will see a canister here that it will fill that up if it is overflowing. Fusions, it will be just be strapped to the side and it'll drain onto your table. So start out with our issue, we're going to go to the main hopper and start at the beginning and take a look at that. Okay, so here we are at our main hopper. First thing you want to check is your air regulator. Here, if you have a single tank, a single tank machine, your air pressure is usually about 35 to 40 around there, depending on how far your hopper is away from your machine. If you have a double tank, usually those are at about 40 to 45 PSI. And like I mentioned, it all depends on how far your hopper is away from your tank. The far, further away it is, the more air pressure it's going to take. This is what you're going to adjust if your mini hopper is not staying two-thirds full. If it's less than two-thirds, you need a little more air pressure. If it's more than two-thirds and you don't have another issue, then we need a little less air pressure there. Um, each machine is kind of has to get tuned in there, um, but that's the first thing to check to make sure nobody turned the air pressure up too high. Second thing we would want to take a look at is if there's is in your hopper. Now I opened up this first. We have a nice screen on ours. All the hoppers come with a screen on it. We want to make sure we keep this screen in good condition to filter out any contaminants that can be in there. Um, one of the main causes of the hopper overflowing can be a part of the bag from the garnet gets into the system here. And what the system does is it's just putting air pressure down onto the garnet and it slowly pushes everything out and needs to keep the line full. If you get a part from your bag inside the hopper, you can what happens is air flows by that, it clogs the bottom part where it comes out on your line down here. It will get caught in that fitting and then it'll just keep pushing garnet out. So if you do have a particle in there, then we need to come to the back side of the hopper here and open that up, try and get some clean dry pails so you can reuse the garnet and we would have to empty that out and try and get any parts of the bag or any other contaminants that may be in the hopper itself in there. You also want to, if you're going that far, make sure you take that bottom fitting off and make sure that you have, uh, make sure there is nothing stuck in there. Another thing that can cause a garnet flow issue is if the garnet got wet, it will get stuck and it'll keep blowing by. And sometimes, a lot of times, what we will see is in the line itself down here. We have some extra line here, and on these radiuses is probably the biggest one, where if we keep clean our line off, we may see that gar wet garnet usually gets stuck on this outer radius here. To do that, what we want to do to clear out that line and make sure it's good, we can pull the line off of here, put it in a pail, and then go back up to our mini hopper up top, pull the main garnet line off of that, and apply some light air pressure and back push all the garnet out to make sure everything cleared out of the system. So those are the most common things that can make garnet overflow out of your mini hopper. Um, one last thing is to make sure you have enough garnet in your mini hopper. You need at least four bags inside your mini hopper. If uh, you have less than four bags there, what you can have is too much air pressure then pushing down on the small amount of garnet and that can cause it to overflow.
If you have any questions, feel free to contact our customer service department and we'll be happy to help you with that. Thank you.